you people are probably going to be yelling at me as I mistakenly misspell that, but oh well. Now then, with this class 11 planet, we are going to be making this one of our uh, shipbuilding planets. So what we need is a starport and at least three traditional factories to boost up production. Also, we'll have one entertainment network and because this one actually is close to other planets, I want one embassy. And I'm going to actually do, uh, this is a diplomatic translator. It is a trade good. You, it takes 125 weeks, but it increases our dip, uh, diplomacy bonus by 25%. So I'll be, I'll be trying to make that, it'll be, yeah, 191 weeks. I think somebody might beat me to it, but maybe not. Now then, let's see what, we still have three more spaces. So I will do research marketplaces and let's see what else I can do um I really like research and research is go probably going to be a major part of this um, let's play so let's just go with that we only have 336 BC left so I can actually build anything like right off the bat like that with oh well that will but I don't want to actually spend that so so right now it will take three weeks for a star port and the agent let's have him also go what you basically want to do is fill up all four spaces which just makes it so that they learn um, the espionage goes faster for each empire if you fill up instead of just going one 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 and i actually kind of want to take over the arsenes first because they're right there and they're being easy target now the diplomatic economy 63 percent Let's go back down to 62. We're getting 28 BC net income. Hopefully that will increase as we go along. And so that's that little planet there. Now see how close the Dark Yor is? That planet with the embassy on it will slowly start to convert the Dark Yor and hopefully take it over. I don't know if you can take over minor sieves, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, Earth. It's doing well. Another two weeks for a colony ship. Not bad. Lone Star is going well. Income still nine. Hopefully it increases soon. Hestia. See how Hestia has a 34 BC because its uh, its approval is 66%. While the Lone Star, which I converted first, still has only 16 BC because it has 57%. You can see how the approval rating does definitely incre uh, change how different things work out now that's cork so that's the dominion yeah dominion cork is right there so um everything seems to be going well time improvements for weeks next turn the crew of our vessel has discovered the wreckage of a powerful ship drifting through space while most of the debris would generally be labeled space junk there's a large volume of precious metal alloy that improves our ship's hit points by four points. Nice. Oh, little... Did you just see that? The little guy just got my stuff. Uh, Terran Light Space Miner cannot detect any asteroid fields or asteroid field mining bases that can be improved. Auto Improve will be put on standby for this ship. Awesome. Now, he's there. What I'm going to do is use him as a scout. Because, well, he's got nothing else to do. Might as well. So, uh, let's see here. Dominion, uh, 62%. Let's put that back up to 60, uh, 61 to 62. And the BCs seem to be dropping still. Hopefully they uh, get done soon. I don't like it when the this thing, I don't like going into the negative. I really don't. So, what I will be doing is talking to these guys again. I don't have anything I can do. I still need... I have three more weeks until planetary improvements. Darn. Okay. Next turn. Uh, more metal alloy. Yay. Oh, the Turian Confederation finally talked to me. Long were we enslaved by another civilization, but we have broken free. Your hyperdrive technology has given us new hope to make our mark on the galaxy. Creepy little son of a... Uh, okay. Colony ship has been completed, finally. 
Now then, new uh, propulsion, planetary improvements, stellar cartography. Planetary improvements, that's what I have, so I'm not going to buy that because it'd be a waste of time. But I might give them uh, population. No. No. I don't want to be giving them anything that they'll use against me, so no thanks. Another two weeks for planetary improvements, that's fine. Colony ship, launch that sucker. Now then, that will be going to the class 9, which is next, and then the class, oh well, fuck. Uh, it seems like the Tori, uh, the Thalans have taken over Mars. Bloody hell. Little, oh, okay, well I want my class 9, so that's going to take 2 week, 2.6 weeks, and we are going to have to take that over eventually. I don't like it that they're that close. How long have they been? I bet you guys have been yelling at me, telling me that they've been right there the whole time, and I just haven't seen them. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. The Thalans are over here, and then they have it. They have like two planets there, then one planet there. They really are going to get screwed over because because they're so far apart, this one will be taken over by me, hopefully soon. As you can see, uh, the influence, once we get to low uh, level um, espionage, we'll actually see what the influence level is. And if the, esp uh, the influence level gets too high against theirs, or like 1.0, above 1.0 of their influence, you can take over a planet. So I'm gonna be taking over Mars just with the uh, the will, my own will against theirs, which is really interesting. Crew of the vessel has found more metal. Oh, bloody hell. Enough with the metal alloy. A flagship cannot detect any more anomalies. Auto survey will go into auto mode. Fine. Hey, there's an influence resource. Nice. Okay. The survey ship is now going to go over here. And the space miner still slowly going over there. And my ship is going to take four weeks for that. And that's going to take a couple of weeks. 2.6, okay. Not much goes on in the first couple of weeks. It really is just kind of slowly going along. But eventually, things do eventually happen. Uh, let's just see. Approval ratings, still 56. Uh, well, it's not as bad as it was. There's still 60s. You know, everything seems to be going fine. The 54 is just because it's so small. The smaller the planet, the less happy the planet, uh, the citizens are of that planet. So, oh, here's the timeline. I'll actually show you a few other things. I only showed you the colonies before. Sorry about that. The economy, my economy is through the roof while everybody else's is down in the ground. I think that's because I'm on easy or at least uh, subnormal. Like theirs just aren't pushing as hard as they can. Military, still no military because, well, it's still too early. Populations, mine's been kind of going nuts all over the place, but eh, I'm still kind of in the middle there, so that's not too bad. Research, I'm the highest. Manufacturing, I'm through the roof. Social production, I was high, but then I've kind of gotten down. Influence, going up. Approval, eh, it's kind of so-so. 44%, I'm kind of running around. Popularity, kind of, you know, at the bottom there. Uh, Diplo is quite high. Treasury, I've been low the whole time. I don't really know why I keep going down. Uh, stats and graphs. Let's just say going against the Draft Legion. My military against theirs, we have none, so that's fine. Population, mine's about the same. I maybe be a little lower. Uh, morale, good. Popularity, theirs is high. The Draft, the Dragon are actually better at, wow. Uh, my economy is through the roof. Good. Uh, let's see here. Top. Uh, there should be... One. Yeah, top players. Military, nobody. Population against uh, the... Uh, Torian uh, Confederation is slightly higher population. Moral, uh, morale, theirs is through the roof. Mine's kind of halfway. Popularity, uh, popula uh, popularity theirs is higher. And economy, well, mine's through the roof. I'm happy. Uh, overall ranking, I'm 8th in population, really. Economy is 1st, military is 10th, technology is 5th, approval rating is 10th, popularity is 10th, 
Treasury is 10th. Influence is first. Popu- uh, production is first. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, well. Okay. One week for planetary improvements. Next week. Uh, alien worlds provide new challenges for the in, uh, industrial and farming trades. Uh, different so- uh, soils, climates, and gravities all have their effects on what we, what and how we build. With this new technology, we'll better able to face those challenges. Now then, I want trade. Okay, sounds good. Now then, let's talk to our minor sieves. I will be giving them, uh, let's see here, planetary improvements, which is a 139 TP. I want all your money. 383. Done. Next turn, people. I'll be giving you planetary improvements. How much do you want? 33. Sounds good. Next, I'll be giving you planetary improvements. What do you want? No, you are not getting that from me. Okay. Good. So I still for no. So I still no. No. I still want your trade, but I'm gonna make it myself. No. And well, let's see. Uh, 34 for new pl- uh, propulsion. You still want that much? Huh? Okay. Clear. Okay. So we now have a thousand one hundred and sixty-eight building credits. And we'll be going through the planets and seeing what they need. Right now, Earth is doing awesome with three weeks to go. Uh, Lone Star is doing well. Uh, Interstellar Nursery is... I'm going to buy a tra- uh, traditional factory, just kind of boost the social to try to get these going a little faster. It's still going to be 93 weeks until because of the Diplo uh, translators, that's 78 weeks. Okay, and uh, hopefully that kind of boosts that a little faster. This one, uh, nine social, 40 billion. Hestia, okay, Hestia. Um, I'll leave those. Research labs and market centers aren't really, you don't really have to boost them like uh, fast by them. They go quite fast anyways, so it's not too bad. And back on Earth, sounds good. And trade seven weeks, uh, colony ships. Not much else going on here. This one's going here, that one's going there. Oh! Wow, the Quarks have a influence resource and a military resource right by their home planet. That's evil. There's like almost no other resources. Well, basically what these resources are, to actually kind of show you what they mean, is that they give you bonuses to whatever they are. So the influence resource, if you mine it, your influence increases. So you, this little bar here pushes towards other civilizations easier if you have one of those and you mine it. A military resource, if you mine that, um, any um, ships, uh, their attack and defense, I believe attack and defense, maybe not defense, but at least attack, increases every time you mine one of these things. So each one of uh, there's a influence, uh, military, uh, morale, which increases morale, of course, and research, which if you mind those, it gives you a bonus to your research. So um, basically that's that. But let me just see one second, relations. I want to talk to her. How much more do you want? 700, still nothing. Okay, never mind. Clear, done. Eventually, I hope, to get a treaty. Now, oh, here we go. Here's the treaties. Um, you can get um, trades with other country, uh, planet, uh, civilizations. Uh, you can go to war. You can get alliances, and you can give out economic and research treaties. And it'll be showing by these little lines that will eventually show up and cover this entire screen. Uh, stats reports. Uh, reports. Because we have a low level, we can actually now see, um, uh, we now have some basic details on uh, our scene. For example, we know that Hammer 2, which is at their second planet, has a population of 221 million citizens and approval rating of 86. 
and a spending rate of 17 billion credits a turn. So they're actually losing money on that planet, which is a little strange. Um, the space miner has a one out of one hit point. Yeah, of course. Uh, space miners are very, very uh, delicate. If you go to war, they get destroyed. Uh, we're able to get little else because we're on a low level. Hopefully they go up. Okay. Uh, now then, R uh, RCM, there's that. Hammer 2 is somewhere in, it's still in the Arthal planet uh, solar system. It's like in there where I can't see, but we'll eventually see it. Now then, I believe that is it for this turn. I don't see much else going on, so let's just go on. Ooh, medium. Nice. Oh, there's the one thing I was going to actually show you. Well, in a moment. Fleshling, the your collective had claimed these worlds interfere with our plans and will liquefy your species to spread on our toast. Let's talk to him. Topics of conversation listed on your terminal. <laughs> nice. Um, they have two, the Iconia by itself, Iconia 5. Let's see how much money they have. They have 3,779 BC. Okay, it seems like easy... Maybe they're actually just not spending money, but wow. Okay, uh, they have barren world uh, colonization and uh, because, well, they don't need food or water, so they're able to live on a, col uh, on a barren world. That's why they have it. Um, so, wow. Okay, I will just... Done. Okay, now the Arceans, uh, because we have a low level... Um, espionage we can now see the influence which is theirs is 52 ip and our influence which is about there like it's not actually hitting the planet yet but it's close is 44.44 we wanted to get to 1.0 at least like one or higher and that means that our influence is actually taking over their planet uh, eventually, Earth is right there, RC is right there, basically it's a tug of war, but the thing is, Earth has so much more influence, it's like, our influence is 67 IP, so it will slowly push out, as you'll see eventually, it will start going crazy, actually. The thing with the Terrans is they're, well, I believe it's this planet that I have the, yeah, the Diplomatic. Um, it just, everything increases exponentially. Uh, it just goes really fast. So eventually that will be a good thing. So, uh, idle, um, two more weeks, trades good, 700. Sounds good. We have a new planet. Florian, Florian 2. Let's name this... Rosium. Eh, sounds like a nice name. This has a manufacturing bonus of 100. We're going to do a traditional factory because that's manufacturing. Uh, because this is a class 9, um, actually we will not do a starport. What we will do is this one is going to become a uh, market center just because I need more money. So two there and lots of market centers. Sounds good. Eight weeks for the first one. Sounds good. Agents now available. Nice. Oh, Brindle. Here we go. Zero. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like there's no planets, which kind of sucks. But uh, now I'm actually going to place this on the Thalans because they've taken over Mars. So I want to know what the hell they're doing. Economy, 60%. Uh, okay. Well, actually, I got it to 62, and it's still 15 BC net income. So that's actually perfect. That's great. We're still doing okay. Uh, tourism is 98 BC. Wow, that's actually higher than I expected. Uh, taxes at 95, okay. Espionage, uh, bonus production research, five, colony maintenance research. Okay, everything seems to be going well. 
no major problems. I still have to wait for the next colony ship, which will be in another week. Trades for weeks seems to be going well. Uh, right at this time, we have, oh, where's the field? Class 6. And the Keratin 2. I'm actually going to go for this planet because I don't want to have what happened with Mars happen again and have another um, civilization take a planet which is in my scope because that'd just be really annoying. After that, if I still have time, I'll go for Westerfield. The good thing is, oh, here's a research uh, resources I was talking about before. And a Econaut, oh my God, right by the freaking planets, they have Econaut, they have two. And that's an economic and a research. The Taurians should be going through the roof if they actually construct uh, mining bases for these two things. They will take over the, like, they'll be amazing. But they're not doing it. I guess. I guess beginner. It really is beginner. Maybe I should have bumped this up a little bit. Anyway, calling in ship added. Nice launch. Yes. And I would like that planet, please. It will take. Oh God, I can't read. Point eight weeks. So next week I'll be able to get that. Um, trades three. How much for the next one? Five weeks. Okay, sounds good. We don't seem to have any other planets that I have to worry about. Let's see, Snatchy still has that one which I haven't talked, uh, shown you yet, but eventually I will, I bet. Mm. That one is actually, go. I want to see what is there, which is the star. That should be either that one or uh, it's, this one might actually have planets which are not been taken over yet. I'm guessing this is going to be the star, which shows right there. There's a star right there, which is in the middle of the um, one of the civilization's area. But then this one is kind of off. There's blackness there, so I don't think the sieve is there. I think it's over here. But we'll see shortly. Next turn. I did hit that, did I know? Hmm, not much happened. Okay, next turn. We have progress smoothly, perfect. Your explorers have discovered an extremely high-tech ship orbiting the planet. It's populated with a small crew, but is uh, to thoroughly dismantle and research the vessel's construction would prove useful in our ship manufacturing skills. What is your decision on the matter? We are not in the business of stealing starships. Leave the crew in peace. Contact the crew and request as much info on the ship's technology as possible, plus 18% ship bill, uh, starship bonus. Send soldiers to retrieve the ship and interrogate the crew to improve the quality of our ships, plus 50% starship bonus. Now, I was good last time. I'm going to be an evil bastard that time and get as much as I can out of it. Uh, now, it says class 4, but yet you see there's only 3 green squares. That's because the initial colony takes up one. Such as that, I kind of shot myself in the foot because star uh, starship bonuses, I believe, are only per planet, not per civilization. So only ships built from this planet will actually give me a bonus, which I think, as I said, I shot myself in the foot because I don't have enough space for a ship building planet. Oh well. Uh, details. Uh, Starship uh, uh, plus 50% bo uh, planet bonus. There you go. So, oh, well, I actually want to talk to see this. Now then, now because of that, I guess I have to do a Starship bo uh, Starport and traditional, but it's going to be a waste of time almost because until I can get. Um, soil enhancements to get the other bones, uh, the, uh, these yellow squares to become green. I can't use them and I can only then have these two spaces for traditional factories and then the star uh, port and then the initial colony. So there you go. Not as good as I had hoped, but hopefully soon we'll get something better. Now. There we go, the Terran uh, Alliance Miner is getting close to seeing what's on over here, which is good. And 
this guy is actually what I want is I want to see what's this here Scotland's two habitable planets let's see what the other one is no 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 class 10 nice okay keep going where you're going and class 10 I am going to three weeks send a colony ship and hopefully get it I let's see here this is in the uh, Dringan Empire but we'll see how it goes I doubt I'll get it but it's always fun to try next week trade where would the galaxy be if we were unable to push our wares onto other species? We will pretty much max out the tolerance of our own population has for our products and services. Thankfully, there's a whole universe to un of unsuspecting customers just waiting to buy our stuff. Now we must build freighters and send them to other planets. Once our freighters have done that, a trade route is created. The number of trade routes we can man uh, manage depends on our trade ability. Other technologies enable us to have more trade routes. Done. Advanced trade just gives us more trade routes, plus 10 to trade. But I actually still, I want to get some of the other things. Such as, uh, I want to actually, no, let's see here. Interstellar construction, no. Finance, economics, and Xeno industry theory. I am going to buy um, research, the Xeno Industrial Theory, which gives us the ability to buy, uh, to make Xeno factories, which just, it's a better, faster, traditional factory, a Xeno factory instead, and it gives us the manufacturing capital that we can build, which is cool. Done. And these are the Scotlands. So human, we have met at long last, we are the Scotlands, and we have claimed these worlds in our name. Let both our civilizations flourish and prosper in the centuries to come. Let's speak to him. We are still number one, the Terran Alliance. The Altrian resistance have gone down, the Trangan have gone up. Wow. And the Thalan Empire, their planet is in my air, uh, my sphere of influence. So their planet actually is not doing as well as they probably had hoped. Plus it's Mars, which only has four spaces, such as the one that I showed the uh, that only has three green spaces because it takes up the initial colony. So that what they did there kind of shot themselves in the foot. Recent panel of scientists have rated our overall technology rating to be 108. Uh, ideally, we want to be rated at 100 or higher if we were to keep up with the technology. We are currently doing an estimated 11% of the total research occurring. There's 13 civilizations. We are doing 11% of the research. I think we're doing good. Now then, ooh, space militarization. How much is that? 138. How much will it cost? 254. Sure. Let's buy that. But I will, artificial gravity, 34. How much do you want for that? 2430. Nice. Um, planetary improvements. How much do you want for that? 383. Sounds good. Trade, how much do you want for that? Six, nice. And that is good. I have taken all your money. But I will see, do you now want uh, space militarization? How much do you want for that? Done. Now, trade is 134, but it gives you so much stuff. So I don't actually want to give it to anybody else. So let's see, what do you, do you want? Oh, I thought I had, uh, hmm, that's weird. Space militarization, I guess they already have it. Sounds good. Actually, let's talk to the Atonian Resistance, our buddies. Your uh, greetings, humble, what would you like? I actually would like Ion Drive, 69 TV, how much? 100, sold. Wait, didn't I just buy that? strange I thought for sure I just had uh, ion drive what did I just buy <laughs> that's hilarious oh well 34 how much yeah, two, yeah okay no, no thank you okay 
Uh, still neutral, neutral, neutral. Wow, your collective actually likes us. That's the robots that want to kill and exterminate all sentient life likes us. Weird. Okay, now the United Planets it, uh, 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 established to enforce justice between races. The United Planets Council has become the cornerstone of interstellar well being. Laws can be voted upon by the members and will be enforced if passed. The strength of one's vote depends on the influence held by each of the race's star systems. The good thing is, the Terran Alliance has, uh, their influence is higher than the other races because of um, just their racial bonuses, plus there's a, uh, the uh, embassies that we put on some of the planets increase our influence. So our influence is 21,380. That's almost double the next person on the, like, they're just all over the place. Um, the next 14, yeah, so there's 14,000 is the next best, and we're 21, so we're doing quite well. The problem is, if they all vote against us, we can't win, but hopefully soon we'll be able to do that. So, we have 2,000 BC. Oh, we're actually going down in BC, which is not a good thing. Um, approval rating 61%. Uh, I want 62. Um, spending, oh well, the espionage are kind of still in need. Well, we are going to be doing trading soon, so hopefully that the trades will help us a little bit. Our tourism is still 99 PC, Tra taxes are slowly going up. So that's good. Um, how much to build this? 300. Oh, actually, I'll do that now. And then I will change that to a freighter. So the next one will be a... And the freighter is only one week. Nice. Um, still military. Income. Yeah, see our income is 56 BC and our spending and maintenance. Like our spending is high, but then our maintenance is low. So it actually is evening out slowly. We just need more people, that's all. Now then. Um, yeah, there's the class 10, class 6, class 5, yeah, so there's still a few planets left, not many, but a few. I'll be going after, as I said, the class 10, if possible, and then after that, I'll be going after the class 6, and then the 5. Uh, anything in the vest yet? No. Oh, well, I thought they might have, uh, there is a morale, uh, resource, which is nice. Now, the Terran Lights um, one here, I'm going to send to the your homeworld and see what they have there. And then the uh, Terran Alliance, oh, they still, come on, I want you to actually move. Uh, they're going along, everything's good. So, five weeks for the Xeno Industrial. We are losing money slowly, but we have 1,600, so hopefully it kind of evens out next turn. Ooh, the Thalons are low. Perfect. Calling a ship. Now, the Thalons, they low, mean that we can actually now see what the IP is. Theirs is 7 IP. Ours is 8.92. This planet, very shortly, is going to become our planet. We just have to wait for the approval to go down the toilet and hopefully it'll be, yes, very soon the Thalans will no longer like their planet. Uh, it takes a high espionage to actually see what the planet looks like, but well, there you go. Now then, let's see what else we can do right now. Oh, yes, launch the colony ship. I want that planet. Now, other than that, we don't really have much going on. 63%, 62. Okay. Ship to man off. Next turn. Ah, the Iconians. Way over here. The gigantic Iconians. Holy crap. Hail, human traveler. We are thankful for your wonderful invention. Hyperdrive, we have finally reached us. We are now once more in the stars. Hey, the Snatchy. Uh, so, human, we meet at long last. We are the mighty snat, uh, Snappy. And we have claimed these worlds in our name. Beware. Oh my god, 
lots of evil. Okay, uh, agent and the traditional factory is being built. Okay, it's always a pleasure to talk with the Terran Alliance. Nice. Aquatic worlds. Co oh, that's actually what we need to get the uh, that one other planet. Seven hundred TP though. This thing's gonna cost like a lot. Yeah, that, yeah. No, I'm not going to. They, they didn't even with full amount of money that we had. They didn't want to sell us because it's such a big. Um, like they're going to get that one planet more than likely eventually so I am not going to do anything but here's the snappy now I'm going to show ooh, yeah, yeah, there we go uh, relations reports um, uh, peace with friends with okay trade trees um, oh, come on where's the uh, I guess, huh? Yeah, uh, dr uh, diplomatic evolution. They think we're practically gods. Um, yeah, the minor civs. They really allow us to do whatever they want. Um, so let's actually get back to the view screen, and we will start selling them stuff. How much money do they have? They have a thousand four hundred. They will be in two. That's perfect. Next, planetary improvements. How much? Sounds good. Next, space militarization. Perfect. And I think I'll be keeping the rest for myself. Now then, um, minor races. The fat snatchy. These guys are evil. It's rumored that the dreadlords, which are like the Galsips one evil guys, in a last ditch effort to destroy the Arnians in the epic battle of Kashi Yu, uh, focused all their dark energy, malice, and hatred into an army of war hungry demons. The Snatchy. Yeah, these guys. Now, after billions of years hoarding their proverbial nuts, the Snat Snappy have uh, metaphorically climbed out of their tree and will gnaw the galaxy with their big squirrel like teeth so to speak. That's awesome. I love these guys. I want more effing. Okay, so not much is going on. Like we're just kind of slowly getting the last planets and then once that happens, things start heating up very fast. So that's going to be 2.3 weeks. Um, hopefully we still have that planet when it gets there next turn. Uh, Churches and Factory, Churches and Factory, Marketplace. Sounds good. Oh, we have 2,600, so I am actually going to go through the lists and buy stuff. Uh, I'm going to let the one freighter, and then I'll go back to the colony ship after that. So that's good. Um, this one is getting just a whole lot of marketplaces, so let's buy that. Going. Yeah, see, like their income is nine, but then marketplaces increase that, and then when population increases, the income just gets better and better. Uh, traditional factories for this one. Well, this guy, I'm going to make freighters 75 weeks. As soon as these two factories go online and then I go to the military, it'll go lower, but it's not going to be as good as I'd hoped. Um, yep, there's all those. So see, like, it's 11 billion, and it only has 1.26, so as soon as it gets higher, it'll go better. Uh, how much would that cost? Five... Ooh. Okay, well, we are going to buy the Embassy, and next one I'm going to buy the Entertainment, and then hopefully we'll get the Diplomatic Translators as soon as possible. Yeesh. It's going to take forever, that thing. Uh, Hestia is going well. Research labs, that's fine. And back on Earth, sounds good. And not much going on right here. Three weeks, two weeks, next turn. Now then, this guy is going to go after this star there. 
Uh, oh, the Lensians is another uh, minor sieve. Uh, they'll be somewhere in there. So this, how long does that? Oh, it will be this week. Sounds good. Um, let's see. I have a few. I had a few names for planets, but then I've kind of lost them. So let's just do. Uh, what is it? Um, Ivy. Oh, we're not going to do this again because we like it's only a class ten. Oh, it's class ten. Well, if it was a little higher, I would have done it. But then I still want to stay on the good side, not bad side. So I'm going. To, oh, manufacturing bonus. Oh, bloody heck. Okay, well, we are going to do just little factories on those. A starport, recruiting center, market center. Entertainment. Uh, Gracely increases income. Don't want that. I would like. Now that was. I do want that embassy. No. So one embassy, and we will do the restaurant of eternity. That one will bounce up one. And go up one. Oh, come on! I said go up. Up. Oh, there we go. So. Uh, restaurant of eternity takes like 120, yeah, 120 weeks. But then, as the traditional factories come online, it cuts into these. So I am actually going to buy one of them. Now you can see it only takes 55 weeks, and then when it hits even lower, 38 weeks. So it definitely does quite well. So IV is now a new sec, and eventually it will click up with that one. Now, I'm going to get the freighter, but then I'm worried about the, where's the freighters? Actually, probably time is up. I'm going to cut this recording off now and start a new one shortly, but, well, there you go. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.